Hi, everyone. Welcome in to episode 97 of Coffee and Shell. We are officially back. It has been uh, it has been a little while. It's now team of the season. We're right in the thick of it. The gaming world or the NHL World Championships are over. I no longer have to leave anywhere, which is pretty solid. We've got a new world champion. Uh, but yeah, we got a we got a lot to discuss. I think that we should not talk about our lives. And at first, to make everyone skip, we're gonna talk about the playoffs and like mm -hmm. the playoff races uh, because they'll, they'll, skip. <laughs> they'll skip. Yeah, for sure. God forbid we talk about real hockey. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's break things out. We're re we're recording this uh, Thursday evening. Uh, games are fitted. Okay. Let's start with a. I'll start with a, some rapid fire topics. One, does Matthews hit seventy? He just scored a sixty-eight tonight. He's got three games to go. I think he does. They're gonna be feeding him like crazy just better, to get it. Better question: If he doesn't score in the next two games, do you play him, Stu? Um. Yeah, he'll want to play. I'm sure. I'm like, sure he'll want to play. I said, he, would I'm sure you there's play? like I think I think there's like only like I think it's like less than I can't remember what the number was. I heard the other day like how many guys that have actually hit 70 goals. What's crazy is that there's been less players that have hit 100 assists, which seems so odd that that I hasn't been hit. I thought Thornton did it in 05 with the Sharks, but um, he must have scored just a few more goals. Uh, that being said, so McDavid, that was it. That was when he was feeding Chichi, right? That's it. He was feeding everybody. He was just the best passer in the world. Um, the, uh, what I was going to say is that, um, so I guess tonight Edmonton's playing one assist away from a hundred. Uh, they have currently four more games to go, including the one that they're playing right now, but m he sat and he's still an assist away. So McDavid, uh, you know, they're, they're resting him up which uh, is good. McDavid just doesn't, they don't care. He doesn't care. He's just eyes on the prize. But I feel like Toronto and like the fans will want to, here's what's crazy. If he scores 70 in the season and he scores one and they get knocked out in six games, it's such a crazy feat that like, like there's no way to be happy about it. This is why it doesn't matter. No, it literally no. does not matter. Stu. Yeah. I, I don't, I mean, Benny's, Benny's the big Oilers fan here. So like Benny, do you want to see him? Do you want to see him hit it? I mean, obviously you want to see him hit, but do you, do you care that much? You rather see him rest? Or... I, well, well. So right now he's dealing with a a minor injury. Um, that's as to why we uh, we sat him against Vegas. Um, but I I'm to me like I think we sit we we rest him against Arizona, and then we have Vancouver on Saturday night, and that game basically determines the uh, the title for Pacific Division. I think you play him then. But I couldn't care less about any record. I don't care about trophies, whatever accolades he gets in the regular season. Like, none of it matters. I think all of us Oilers fans are just wanting playoff success from him. It's so, just crazy. As long, as long as he's healthy, right? Like, Toronto fans, obviously, it's a, like, for any Toronto fan that really cares about 70 goals, and I'll put this in perspective, even if he hits 70 goals, he's probably going to be the only one that's going to ever come close to breaking Ovechkin's record. <laughs> for most goals yeah. in his career. So yeah, that could. 70 goal season won't mean shit in 15 years when he breaks Ovechkin's right knock on wood and barring any injury, obviously, but he's on a faster pace than Ovechkin was at his age. And he probably isn't going to experience nearly as many lockouts. Um, he did experience COVID, but so did Ovechkin. Um, that being said, if he does hit 70, no, if he does hit 70, it's going to put like a ton more pressure that I he know, has to produce in the playoffs. Like, if anything, if he doesn't hit it, it's kind of like, okay, well, like, That's it okay, doesn't really yeah, matter. Not a big deal. But then, like, you hit 70 in the regular season, we better see like nearly goal per game in the playoffs. You better show up. And like that's the thing. He just they just like dude, he loves scoring against New Jersey. He had another two tonight. So now he's got Detroit, Florida, and Tampa to end the season. Um, which is just gonna be interesting uh to watch that. Is anyone does do you guys like have like did did Boston's season last year and then subsequent burnout in the first round just make you completely ignore them now? Yes. I, like I have literally. like dude, like they're in first in the Atlantic, and I just ex expect them to get knocked out in the first round, no matter who they play. I, I feel like they're they're not good, which is like the wrong take. But when you look at their roster, like their top two centers have got to be among the worst. Well, other than the whatever. Team. Probably the worst one, two C punch. Yeah. For like a top seeded team I've ever seen. It's got to be but right. It's, it's, it's Boston though. They always, just, but and then they have 15 OTLs. So like, it's like propped up like a ton by that. 
Cause like Zach, yeah, like Zach and Coil, like it's just like I don't know. I, I I think last season definitely ruined it because they were the best, literally the best team in the history of the has, NHL. Has there been, like because like they were rumored to like maybe get Lindholm and I, I thought they would. I think something like fell through, but has there been like a more disappointing deadline move than that one? That's that's a big one. I thought not getting Lindholm was was pretty big. Uh, all right, so let's. I mean, I mean, I'm saying like Vancouver getting him. I know he doesn't like. They don't. There was a rumor that he was going to get traded. That's what I'm saying. Was it in the yeah. Gensel deal or was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like it... Gensel, it was like all that stuff. But like, yeah. like he literally has like nine points. I think in like twenty something games. Mm-hmm. Like that's. I don't know. I I just I thought he would have been better in Vancouver, but watch him like tear it up in the playoffs somehow. He's exactly. also been like their three C basically. Right, He's kind of been yeah. stuck in like th- in like three C numbers. He <laughs> hasn't got much power play time. It just seems like such an unnecessary move, almost. Like I, I don't know. Like they didn't like really need him that bad. I, I don't. Maybe I'm wrong, but whatever. I think they were pushing all their chips in, um, yeah. which is fine. And, and uh, Rutherford likes to do things early, if memory serves. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the teams. So there's five teams. Like no one wants this la- these last two playoff spots in the Eastern Conference. <laughs> Currently, as it stands, the New York Islanders have somehow won six games in a row. No offense to the Islanders fans. UBS Arena is still by far, in my opinion, the far and away the best arena in the NHL. Uh you are going to basically get a week's extra season. Like, remember, remember Sutter? Like, I don't know what year it was. Was it the year that Colorado won the cup when he was basically like, whatever team gets him in the first round, literally just extended their season by a week? And I remember he said that like early on in the year. That's what's going to have like, yeah. they're going to get cool. Mm-hmm. Like, because they right now they're in the Metro. Um, they're, they're in the, it locked into the three seed in the Metro. And it looks like they've pretty much locked that up. So they're going to play against Carolina in the first round. That's over in five. Like, I don't see anyway. Carolina low key is like, I think might be sneaky. The best team in the East sneaky. Like they always choke in the third round, but like, I, I feel like they are set up very well. Um, and then you've got the Rangers Pitt. are going to feed on whoever they get to. That's the thing. So I don't, I, I don't know. The Rangers are fraud. I know there's something going on with the Rangers. Too. I've seen so many Ranger games recently. I've been to three in the last two months, but uh, I guess it's not a lot, but for someone who doesn't live there, um, you've got Pittsburgh, Washington, Detroit, and Philadelphia within one point of each other. And Philly just won tonight, saving their season. Cause they only have two games left. So they can max out at 89 points. Pittsburgh has 86 but they've got three games to go. So that they're probably toast. Uh, if you're Philadelphia Flyers fans, are you happy with the season? I mean, you almost have, it's, it's just Tortorella stuff. He always manages to, yeah. like, to bring out the best of a bottom feeder. Like, it's, like, it's just his style. <laughs> they were supposed to be bottom five and somehow incredibly weren't and almost, and they were in a playoff spot up until about a week ago. Um, they didn't trade everyone that they could have at the deadline. All they did was like get rid of Sealer or Walker. I, I always can't remember what Walker. Walker. They got Walker. rid of Walker, and they got a first round pick for him. No. Yep. Yeah. So good haul there, but like they didn't add anyone because obviously they can't long term plans. But now, like you had a chance at another top five pick, maybe it's just like as a fan. This we're gonna talk about. Oh, we should talk about Salt Lake in a second too. Like. The murky middle is just, dude, you're living it. The Blues are living it. Yeah, there's nothing worse than being mid in the NHL. It's actually punishing. I don't, like, I don't know what the Blues would do without hitting on Cairo and, and uh, Thomas. And, like, cairo has been a disappointment in just the sense of, like, how much they paid him to be. It was kind of weird the other day. I did one of those cap-friendly comparable contracts. And I know this is, like, Blues-related. But when Tarasenko signed that eight-year deal here the first time, like, his, his long-term deal, yeah. he actually almost has, like, the same amount of points as Tarasenko in the same like amount of games played. It's kind of crazy, mm. but he gets so much more hate than Vladdy did. Like Vladdy was like, never hated. Him. I think you it's because I mean? Vladdy had the big season. Well, 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 he's had like a couple, I guess. I mean, Vladdy, Vladdy never hit 40. Or the no, year he was on the cover too. It's just, I think it was just like, he's just always smiling and he kind of was like, He's also he a goal scorer, a little bad. bit flashier. He would never he do be. anything too. Ter- he would never have any like super down like, years. He'd always be good yeah. enough to like put up thirty. I, I, and I think it's such a blue collar city where it's like people hate watching some guy just kind of like do dangles and like yeah, screw yeah. up at the blue line. Like he didn't dangle ever. I don't know. Maybe that's it. Like it's just like the Blues. 
like the Blues fans would love to have like 18 Zach Hyman's. <laughs> like literally, oh, like, yeah, they just, yeah, yeah. like that's like our guy. Like they would just love him. <laughs> Dude, Washington know. make the playoffs or not? I think this was like the perfect season for them. Somehow Charlie Lindgren dragged them into relevancy, which right. is crazy in itself. And they could make the playoffs. They've got their one point back of Pittsburgh for the last play, the last wild card spot, and they've got the same amount of games played. They've got three left. They're still within the realm of possibility. They just beat Detroit to um, almost. I mean, they didn't knock out Detroit, but like that was a big blow. And then Pittsburgh just. I mean, Detroit saved their season in overtime tonight with uh, Raymond getting a hat trick to tie it to go to overtime. Um, but no matter what Washington season, it does, really doesn't matter. They're not going to want a cup and playoff series would be dope, but th- I have gone to three or four caps games this year. They are bad. They are they, dude. They're minus 42 to put that in perspective. I don't do. I can't the, see any of these teams. Sorry. I can't see any of these teams. So pulling a Florida, you know, like Florida, like snuck in and then <laughs> caught fire. None of these teams I feel like are in that territory. I could see Pittsburgh. Close. I could see maybe. Pittsburgh yeah. just because they have a bunch of like enough stars. But no, you're right. Like I don't see how any of these teams would be like Florida. Um, but man, like it's all about Ovechkin, so it really doesn't matter. So them getting close and being relevant is just a huge bonus because they're gonna be bad and they're just gonna ride it out until Ovechkin's done. Here's the thing. So in the news today, we found out about Arizona. Arizona is finally leaving. It appears it's all but done. They are going to relocate to Utah, right? And with that happening, it all but confirms that, because they also said that there's the possibility the door is open to go back to Arizona. Dude, they are going to put 34 teams in the NHL. And we've talked about this a couple times in the podcast. You add more teams, that's 25 more AHLers in the league. If you don't mm-hmm. rebuild, like, I'm so this is what I was thinking about, because obviously the Sharks are so bad, and this season was hell. But... In three years or four years, when there's two more, maybe even four more teams, rebuilding is going to take forever. Like, they are going to have to expand playoffs because when half your team league doesn't make the playoffs, that means ha- more than half of your league is not making any revenue, right? Like, I, that's, like, the big issue. So when they add more teams in, they're going to have to do something. But if you haven't rebuilt yet, I specifically think of Pittsburgh and Washington because it's going to be, like, Probably in three years, everyone's gone. Like, more than likely. And then, dude, then you're in for a worse Sharks rebuild because at least the Sharks had Eklund this year, like two years, a couple years ago, and you're just in it forever. Dude, when there's that many teams in the league, rebuilding is just going to be absolute hell. Like, I don't, I don't know what that's like. I think, are you guys, would you guys be excited for more teams? Yes. I think really? Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I would, I'm fine with 32. That's crazy. I'm stunned that you say that. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think it's, I just like want to grow the sport of hockey. So it's like, I, I guess that's I true. I, I think it's like, it's like it's never going to grow anymore in Canada. I mean, it's it, no, it's, there will like, never be yeah. another Canadian team. I hate when people I like that bit, argument. Like everyone, it's so funny. Like when I like talk to people, like or I see people on Twitter and they're like, oh, give it to Quebec. It's mm-hmm. like people understand like Arizona or well, Phoenix, whatever, is a top 10 media market. Yeah. Georgia or Atlanta is too. Atlanta has Turner there, which is, is, I mean, probably going to stay around for the TNT coverage. They've been awesome. And then Houston's owner apparently was in New York City yesterday, the Rockets owner. And I, they just spent like $15 million or 15 or $20 million, they said, in, in putting a new ice machine in or whatever in, their, in the Rockets arena. So I think they want it in. So I think eventually you're going to see Arizona come back, Atlanta, and then Houston. I, I, I think those are probably the teams, too. A lot of people will be like, why, like, why would you not put one in Canada? There's everyone that is uh, you are not going to gain another hockey fan with another team in Canada. Like you're you're just simply not. Everyone that likes hockey or everyone that likes hockey is a Montreal Canadian fan. I see the money too, right? It's like that's simply too. our dollar and, sucks. And so not to mention like, look, at, look at Winnipeg. I mean, it's like you know what I mean. Athletes like, don't want to go there either. Like it, you yeah. basically like the Canadian teams. There's a reason why they haven't won in 30 years. Like yeah. th- like there's no there's no like there's no like mass conspiracy conspiracy there's there there's what the 25 percent of the league is canadian teams yeah, yeah. roughly and yeah. you haven't won a cup in 30 years so like and i don't know how many finals off the top of my head since montreal won calgary uh vancouver calgary, edmonton yeah vancouver edmonton. those are the yep those are the three ottawa Oh, and oh Ottawa my God, 07. everyone forgets about that Ottawa team. They got smoked by Anaheim. Good Lord. 
Oh my god. Yeah, that's just four teams in 30 years have made the finals. So, like, and it's only becoming harder to, to keep people here. So, you know, um, I personally don't want to see the league grow anymore for some reason. I just think that the watered-down product, you can get a bad hockey game now. Like, I, I, I mean, you know, not I every— I mean, you already can. Yeah. Sharks versus, like, oh, well, I guess, I it's mean, not Sharks versus Bedard. Not, I mean, so. I, I guess, but, like— like I said, the more t- every team you add is twenty five AHL talent that could never make the NHL prior. Six teams. For McDavid to feed on McDavid yeah, exactly, just feeding right? on more like, AHL players. And then He's when you think about two hundred points, when you think about rebuilding, <laughs> right? So you know, before Vegas, if you finished, la- if you've got first overall, right? In the first, like, but when your second overall pick, your second round pick would have been thirty first. Now it's thirty sixth or thirty seventh if there's six teams added, right? Like it just, it just makes it very hard to to build teams. And you end up with just a bunch of mid, like every. People, you got to you know pull I mean? a Tampa, and you got to be pulling like second round picks, like mm-hmm. out of your ass, third round picks, like point out of your ass, kind of thing. Like you have to just have unbelievably good amateur scouting. I do agree with Stu though that it would it would grow the game. That there's no. I think, way I think you're just gonna see all sports leagues. Like I mean, I think you're gonna see the NBA go to Vegas. I think you're. Gonna see I'm the surprised NBA. that Major League Baseball has it, but I guess they're gonna, you know, and they're and like Nashville's gonna get an MLB team eventually. I, I mean, don't know Nashville how Nashville be- doesn't have it. Nashville is the Eastern East Coast Vegas. Like I don't understand yeah. how they do like, not have all four. Like spaces. there's a bunch of cities that are you know that are going to get teams in different, you know, leagues and stuff. Like, I, I still think St. Louis deserves an NFL team, regardless of losing the Rams. It's like, we're getting freaking 45,000 people to watch a freaking XFL game. Or, yeah, sorry, that's pretty a UFL, wild. A UFL game. I mean, the Battle Hawks, it's like a joke. And people, like, go pack the dome. It's hilarious. Last but... real-life hockey question. Who wins the heart? Ooh, I mean... I'm going to put my money on Kucherov, because he's just been so much better than everyone else on his team. Like, he's just... By far, like he's what he's got like forty five more points in second place on his team. Yes, but he's carrying them right now. All right, Stu. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think Kucherov should too. But Benny, as a McDavid fan, I'm sticking with the panel here. I'm saying Kucherov. I think McDavid's had a great year. I think Matthews at seventy is going to be great. McKinnon's having a great year, but I think Kucherov dragging his team to a playoff and having that big of a point gap. To me, is the heart trophy like definition? Did you guys see the tweet that I put out that I retweeted the earlier? Like, uh, no, a couple of days ago. This is, a, this is an airport thing. So it was even strength primary points. Oh uh, yeah, I saw and that. Kucherov has forty nine of a hundred and forty one, which means that he is, um, uh like an he's ass- in on he a is a secondary them. assist he is a, no but he's a secondary assist merchant which uh, is still important okay. you're still in, in the play right but you know like that it just obviously you're less impactful in the play that's something to take away from what he's doing because you're you're right what benny said that like you know obviously is that many points away from his second player a uh, second uh the second on your team that is the definition of it um i just think that like dude like McKinnon's like you take McKinnon off the avalanche, man. Like, dude, the Gorgiev has like an 880 save percentage. Like, they are bad in that aspect. And I, after, like, I don't know. I, I just, I think that might be McKinnon's year. I also think I, that it's like the LeBron MVP thing that like McKinnon deserves an MVP at some point in his career. And McDavid yeah. didn't start quickly. So, like, they'll give it to McKinnon. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, right, I think, yeah. yeah, because he had a strong enough year. Like, I because I think that like the league wants to give him one, <laughs> or like he does, you know what I mean? So, I, I think mean, Hyman should win it because his dude, Hyman, <laughs> Hyman's the best free agent of all time. The Hyman's parents, parents should get it oh, for yeah. sure. No, yeah, they paid <laughs> those D4s thing. are crazy. They, they paid for that thing. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's discuss a little bit of hockey ultimate team. Uh, you know, obviously, interest uh, dying down in hockey ultimate team. Um, Team of the season operates quite differently than prior years. Uh, it seems like they're doing like a first team all st- or first team team of the season, second team team of the season, and it's like Lions. Uh, it looks like we're on pace for 36 total team of the season cards. Last year in the prior year, we had like over 70. Um, so with what you guys saw and the master card art, like what were your first, what was your initial thoughts? Uh, Brent, we'll start with you. I'm going to start with a positive. Okay. At least they 
different from being the RNG method of you doing the set and picking one of three, you yes. get to pick a player you want. True. That's definitely a plus. I will take that as a win. Mm -hmm. And then we can now proceed to shit on the event. So yes. I, I don't know, like um Hughes getting one is weird. What uh this the the card art, so I know Stu hates like card art, but um I didn't I don't care. I didn't mind it. Um you saw the, my joke on Twitter about the card art, right? Yeah, you didn't understand. I I I, I perceived I it as why, uh, I was why why didn't Carter Hart and Alex Formanton and, and those oh, guys? No. He made a jail oh, joke no. because it's a chain. <laughs> <Apple. laughs> fair enough. I shouldn't, you know? I shouldn't Which, be laughing. Oh well, no. <laughs> I mean, that's what it seems like, right? It seems my like team this season. That's like that's what it seems like. So oh, shit. <laughs> You didn't think of that? <laughs> I didn't what think of locks. Tweet? I didn't think I oh, assumed God. it was like locks. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, oh, like I, a yeah. lock. Yeah. yeah. That's what I like, figured. But yeah, nonetheless, it, I don't know. But it was better than last year. Last year we had the worst card art ever. Mm -hmm. Um I miss, I miss Oh the, yeah, that was bad. I missed the, uh, I missed the green one. Like the That was team of the oh. year. Yeah, I know, but I, I just I like that one. That was the cool. uh so but clearly what happened with that Jack Hughes thing, uh it was because they needed to make the card art and they have to do it early because mm, like that yeah. he's tied for 34th in scoring like it is an it was there ever a point one. this season where he deserved it in the first place could you go back to january and been like oh i, I don't know in january in november, deserved it in november, november, yeah, the first two months of the november, season. December, that is like yeah. if they're deciding yeah. these in november and december like for god's sake ea please i mean like noah dobson too is like definitely one uh he for a while was in like the norris trophy conversation but uh, that like, one's okay yeah he's he had but, a good season but like, so i mean yeah fine. it's not bad there's still better options but yeah like that means yeah. like the the jack hughes one is nuts to me um yeah. but this, uh this strawberry, this strawberry gatorade is excellent by the way i just throw it out there what is it zero <laughs> gatorade zero or is oh, like the uh, fierce it's uh oh strawberry. okay you like the yeah. strawberry ones i'm a big orange yeah, I... guy anything orange what yeah citrus orange bro. gatorade orange orange gatorade nah, orange blue. celsius Didn't we had like gatorade hot cards one time oh yeah yes that was every NHL that was when they were 18. doing the, uh, the sponsored ones no it was was it 18 was that long they, that was the first frosted, time they did it early frosted. nhl 18 they did remember the frosted flakes that was a great event oh yeah oh that was do. fun Maybe. if they can make their money off of events by doing sponsors oh, yeah? on every event yeah. instead of basically trying to like you know get it out of our wallets and let yeah. the sponsors do it well i mean you know ea come on yeah, i don't want to be spending i'm not gonna lie okay okay i'm going free to play next year Let's go. Oh, let's go. And you know why? Because I can't give another dollar to a to a game that's for two years in a row just disappointed the hell out of me. I can't, in good conscience, give them any more of my money. I'm yeah, you'll, have more fun. you'll have more fun, too, because because, because you're like pulls you get. But like Any pull you get means that much more. Yeah, it just feels like better. Like I, don't I, know. Uh, I haven't spent a well, dollar in this game for a year and a half. I spent like in like the four figures on my team, and... Everyone seemed cop to me anyways. It didn't even it didn't even matter. Yeah, Which honestly was such a kick. It, it was it was a kick straight into my nuts. Yeah, seeing like, everyone's team being just as good as mine. Benny's team is arguably his team was better than mine, although he was getting like top five in well, champs and whatever. I'm getting like top fifty, top twenty ish every week. And his team caught up right to mine. And I just hear, ah, I got my, my team's better than yours. And I spend like I don't want to say how much you spent less than me. It's a lot. It's the, uh, a lot of money less. The, the, the devaluing, the devaluing of cards like fantasy cards too, especially with someone like you, it makes it. It just it makes it almost just feel so useless too. Like because you you had like the ability to buy those cards. Like you're one of the few people in the world at that time that had probably the coins to get like to buy them and let them like build up. But it was like. Okay, who what's the point? Because then Barzell would get like another card and it was like the same thing. Yeah, that was I mean? wild mm -hmm. the, that change. Like that was one of the worst things they did in HUD yeah. this year, I think, was devaluing cards that got promoted by like or upgraded, sorry, by real life statistics or like statistical achievements. I, I just I don't know why they did that. Because yeah. it just killed This year they they um there was like it was like they were trying to surprise us or do new stuff at every opportunity they get. I don't know if it's because I'm old, but I would like like more structure. Like yeah. to be able to expect when a card would come out or, or something. Like, dude, Jason Robertson is still like an eighty eight. And he was an X Factor. Like there's just, like, you don't need to reinvent the wheel, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, sometimes maybe, like I understand people bitch a lot, but sometimes I also think it's like 
you know, there's no, there was nothing wrong. You've with, already like, figured it out, right? You know what I mean? Like that wasn't need to be. Like done. just go yeah. work on your game plan, okay? Like yeah, yeah. that's that's you know. Well, need, I would love some... it if they. I said this before too. I would love it if they get to a point where they don't need to work on gameplay every year because I think that's a major time sink, and they always end up getting it wrong anyways. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, when it's that's just really, when it's really serviceable, needed. you know, when it's serviceable, stop creating like new like. I like it. Kind of like the show. Maybe yeah. Like the, well, I mean that's why the show was dealing with uh, content issues though. They're having yeah. a really hard time. I just feel like the gameplay. Right. They they were like, we just did the same game. It's very easy. Yeah, it's funny because hitting is exactly the same as last year. But uh, that that they've like, it's a much easier game to make in that sense. Yeah, but yeah. I yeah, agree. Sure. But I I agree. I would love to be like, hey, there's not going to be a ton of changes to gameplay this year. That would be right. and just because they need realistically a hot revamp in general. It needs if we don't to get be, it this like, year, if we don't get it this year, I don't think we'll ever get it. Like cause it's been five years. Like and I'm, there needs to be just more like just like. If you hop into the game, like I think I was saying like a few episodes ago, if if you made it so you're you're in your dailies, if the first hour of you being online is the most valuable for your time, where it's like basically there's objectives to give you like XP towards upgrades, XYZ, do things today and it's like every day it's like a reason to get you on the game, but not for too long. It's like an hour of your time. And that's and then you can keep playing if you want, but it's less efficient than the first hour, then that gives you a reason to want to hop on every day and to just somehow make it not repetitive and like kind of like what if like a premium pack would do it yeah. one premium uh, no, pack that's rng i want like no you like, the the daily thing should be like if you hop on for a day you're going to get this it's if you do a pack then oh. you're just going to get if you're getting you're if you're getting like no lube right up there like seven days in a row you're like why the hell do i log in what if what log- if it was like at the end of at the end of a week um if you it like for five collectibles of daily collectibles you'd end up with like something something you know? guaranteed yeah not something packs. guaranteed not packs yeah if that it's be... if it's packs everyone just goes oh i'm just gonna not get anything anyways why do i bother but we know what your reward is and like if i put in x amount of time i'm gonna get this that is maybe hop on the game Whereas there's there's the gamblers you know like people that they love to like oh i i can't wait to see what's i can i could get a like a, like a high rated McDavid in this pack. Ooh, like, here we go. Like, this could ha- this could be my lucky day. You have those guys, but I think most people, especially if you're getting continuously, just like you see on online. Oh, look at my big pulls, and you're sitting there and just got your your base Zach Hyman, your base Zach Cassie, and you're like, oh, well, I'm not getting shit. So what's the point of me logging in? They. It seems like they've axed the playoff event in how it used to work at least last few years. And this year uh, yeah, would have arguably been the that. best one because, like, so how it would work in prior years is like whatever team finished in the wild card spot, those cards would go up like plus five, right? right? So yeah. you'd have to take a gamble, dude. The Eastern Conference, dude, the way that that is right now, would actually have been the most insane year to have that event for sure. But it's too late now, so it's not happening. I'm assuming we'll get like a playoff event, dude. We have five months to go. What's crazy mm-hmm. is what it's crazy. So what unfortunate. You think. It's crazy what you think about the first five months of Hut. There's all these different events and like, you know, like the problem is, is that when you get to the now, there's going to be like what the playoff event and like that's probably four weeks long or eight weeks long, whatever the length of the playoffs. And then you've got like the summer one and you're at like or draft and then the summer you get, there's potentially only three events left for five months. Like it just it's uh, all sports games go through this, um, but definitely uh, definitely feels over uh, over quickly. Um, but we'll see. We've got community team of the season coming up still. That that one still uh, has to be settled. So we'll see what that is tomorrow or today when this is released. Um, so let's uh, – World Championships is done. Oh, they gave uh, Pogues a shout-out in game. Love that. Uh, they made him, they, his card the team of the week. Like you can Yeah, and they, they, also, they also came out with a pack for the, for the cards too, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Not like brutal McDavid. because the overalls are literally the same yes. as what they use. So, like, yes. McDavid's 97, the rest are, like, in the 80s, low 80s. Yeah. So it's no one's going to be amped as a fire that. However, I hope that next year when the GWC gets announced, uh, they then make that a team of the week so those cards are relevant at the time. That would be super cool if they did that, um, but they won't. Um Let's uh let's discuss the world championship. It's over now. Polgs wins. We finally got a Canadian actually winning the whole thing. Um, was he your fourth expected person to win out of the four that made it? Because uh, it was Eki, Gren, Regs, and Polgs 
as the uh, as the two representatives. I'm gonna Four. say I'm actually gonna say no. I I thought he was due to win, and mm-hmm. with how this game is the last two years, and it's not taking anything away from him. It's just like and I said this to you before you left. I said. Like, Gren won that, but I could see Bregs winning, or I could see Polk's winning, or I could see... It's just, like, the game was... there. The last two years, the skill, ba- the skill gap has been... Don't get me wrong. I know the same-ish guys are making it to the end, but I would even say the skill gap is less than even amongst them. And I don't think it's because, oh, well, more guys are playing, or more... It's uh, We have goalies flopping on the ground. You know, there's things out of our control. We have pucks hitting... The, the the craziness that's happened the last two years from just, just stemming from I would say even just the goalies alone, but like other things, I think that's diminished um the clear cut type of things, right? Like yeah, like the same guys are gonna make it maybe toward towards the end. I this guess, was right? the but, hardest final four, I think. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like I don't think mm-hmm. and, and it and it almost made me like I've been more I've been less interested in these tournaments this year than like ever. And that's uh there's many because reasons of me for getting that. older. It's I literally it's just because like I'm like sitting there like 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 the last one I told you about, like it's kinda like, okay, cool, like Gren won and then it was um but we're sitting there like, okay, they're all going. And this one I'm sitting there watching regs talk to polls before they play and everyone in the chat's going, Oh, they're splitting, they're splitting, they're splitting, they're splitting and it's like all right, cool. Like there was a split, but it's very small. And then I know, but it but it, it's still one of those things where it's just kinda like I don't know. It's just like it's like okay, like, and they're kind of sitting there, like, ah, nice goal, brother. Yeah, great goal, man. Oh, like, yeah, but like, Rex but was you know, not like, thrilled off camera when that ended. Like, let me tell you, like, Vladar is—he like, uh, like got an angry letter. Where, where it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's just so like laissez faire. I don't know. It just doesn't have the same like, I don't. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, maybe well, that's that just, it's it's also in its seventh year. I know. This it's, just gotta uh, be. I told you how I would fix it last week. So, or, last, or sorry, two shows ago. Or two, or two yeah, ago. yeah. The the extended um, tournament. It, it was nice though to see an Eki vs. Reg series, though. I mean, that like, was everyone nice. Wanted that. I'm glad that we finally got that at, at the big stage because, like, it would have sucked if we if one of them decided to retire and we never got to see that. It was nice to see like That's a true. huge series like that. Yeah, like those like the two. That was like your EU goat versus your NA goat realistically I agree. and it's like there was so when i saw that that was happening i was like you know what and i actually sat there and watched that series i wasn't planning to like like to actually watch i, I had it like on in my airpods as i was yeah. like doing some house stuff and I, all of a sudden i was like oh those two playing each other you know i was like you know what okay i'm gonna sit down and watch this game i really want to see gren and eki again for the first time yeah. since like the first year that would words of john wayne he sent him across the pond he once did. again he did, he did. See John make an appearance, so he just... Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I love that, dude. I love you know, that. You know, you know you're going to see a John Wayne appearance when Eki's losing. Like the, in WWE, uh, just surprise entrance. That's John's music. Yeah. Here he comes. Oh my God, that's John Wayne 90. <laughs> like, like, here, like, like, He's in tights. <laughs> like, like, realistically, though, like, I mean, like, me and Brett don't have much of a shot of winning it, even though we're, like... I would say we're some of the better players in the world, but we're not like anything close to like Benny and them. But like even Benny, like Benny, would you agree? Kind of like my assessment, were you were you sitting there like biting your nails, like oh my god, like what's gonna happen here? You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't think it has the same like. Just so suspense. how does that how does that happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I, I think I think this is this is just exhaustion and boredom of the same thing over and over again. It's very yeah. hard for. Like, yeah. unless there's more money. I'm telling you, that gimmicky trophy, I say gimmicky because it's... it's oh, just, yeah, that was uh, a miss. Yeah, yes, that, I agree. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about the stick. I'm I'm just, like, the stick's whatever, okay? But, like, I'm talking about, like, the gimmicky came, idea I came up with where it's, like, it's, you know, Reg's his name on this year. That, But it but it turns into, like... Oh, like the prize, cup, you mean. Like, yeah, like a prize possession. And then, you know, but, like, I, I say, like, it's, it's dumb, but it's kind of not because... Like that's what sports have as a signature trophy, right? So it's like I missed the first at, two years. You know what I mean? Like that, the, dude. The, the best trophy was the one that Eki won the first year, or like I don't it know. Was what, the same it, one they had. The, it was the okay, cookie so yeah, yeah. one. That was the, that was the coolest looking trophy of all of them. Yeah, I don't know if it was like a uh, like a cost thing. If that thing was like super expensive, yeah. it might be. Right, I don't right, know, right. but Maybe I agree. Worked. I you think know, they they that, knew that too. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just something where it's, you know, there, there's, I don't know. And then maybe just like some of the, just, I, I don't know, maybe just. I, maybe I talked just, to Eki. I don't get to hang out with him very often. I went to the Ranger game and I sat with him. Um, and uh, he said something along the We talked about it because he's having a kid. And uh, it's so crazy how much older he is now. Like, he's only 24, but like, he's literally been around since like he was 18. And like, I've seen him every year. So it, it's crazy now that he's going to be like 25. But he was like, 
the amount of time we're talking about being a creator and he's like, I make more money being a creator. And I was like, yeah, like, dude, I don't even make division one anymore. And he was like the time that I don't have the time or I don't know if it's worth it to try and play, be competitive. And like, obviously it's a very different circumstance because no one plays the game as to make, to earn a full-time living except for him. I guess he was like the only one that realistic because he's made well over a hundred thousand dollars over the last like five years. Which is, when you add it all up, is absolutely absurd that it's literally just in tournament winnings. Because, you know, he makes more money playing making content, right? So, um, good for him in that sense. He is just farming EU. I need someone in Europe to beat him. Like, it, like it, I, I told him that, like, it's either... I told him before when he went in, like, on the Saturday. I was like, I either need you to win or, like, get smoked early or something. Because, like, it needs to... You, know, you need to either have your win... Or you need to pass the torch to like Nikki Dangles or something. Like it needs to happen because it's you're right. It's not good for the tournament for the same dudes always there. It's not. It's not exciting. It, it, let, it, it was kind of funny when it was like Ren or uh, Gren and Regs because they did like a best of three in the final game of the year, which is <laughs> nuts. Three years in a row. But if we would have got, we could have got Regs and Gren again. It's yeah. like, I was like, well, dude, then, well, then, like, please like, like, for the love of God, don't be that. Like, 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 Benny, since you're, you're, like, still able to probably, like, win the whole thing, like, what, what did you feel, what was your thought then, like, of what I said, like, do you think I'm, like, way off base there, or, like? No, yeah. I, I definitely, like, I in definitely. The, oh. wrong, hold on, time out, time out. You have a friend competing in Pulse. Yeah, hang, hang on, Plus, hang on. I, I, so I forgot to finish my sentence about right Eki. Eki said that it's tough to compete all year for one tournament. Which is I why agree. I was going to say that, like, it's <laughs> your thought of it being two. Did you tell um, him my idea, or did he not hear about it? Did I? I, didn't I, know if you like I maybe I want to say that I th that was what we talked about, or maybe okay. he brought it up. I don't remember, but I I clocked that he said that it's it's now. But again, it, you can't. We're we're comparing like maybe three people in the world that can actually do that, and the reason and it's much easier for him because he just beats everyone in Europe. There's not as many good players, mm -hmm. so like you know like that. It's a different it's a different type of scenario. But oh. yeah, like the the multiple big tournament. What about this? What if there was, so if we take the money invested, right? So there's, there was like, what? There was five land events, right? Um, what if the qualifiers were like done online or whatever? And we solved that issue. It's peer to peer, hopefully when it did it, but there was one tournament, a world final, and they brought out 16 people and it was three days and like a true world final. I, I don't know. I, I like I like it extending over how I said it because it keeps the game not stale even longer. Like what I'm saying, and, and it aligns with the real hockey season kind of too. Like I think like we talked about having marquee events and coinciding <laughs> with these tournaments is the best. Like if we're we're trying the the goal of the NHL when they say yes, yeah, you can use our licensing and all this crap is because they want kids to go i like playing a video game maybe i want to go to a hockey game maybe i want to go watch a hockey game maybe i want to go buy a jersey maybe i want to go skate for the first whatever i don't know you know what i'm saying that's like their mindset the ea people are just trying to make money because it's a video game right but what i'm saying is like if you coincide it like for like a guy like benny who um i know edmonton wants the all-star game in a few years or whatever like i think they're trying to get it like how cool would that be if benny made like the all-star tournament and he gets to go like in his hometown and gets to play you know it's just like stuff like that and i think it's like cool like you never would have been able to go to nashville sleeves like for example to like like imagine those, yeah, I mean, those like, those are i loved it i just think it's like cool to have like we talked about like events i just think we're like when we talked to seabass that was like the one thing he says like they just need to do a better job at tying in the real life thing with the uh, that's what we did and we all video. bitched that it was too long i i know but i think like i told you the reason why we bitched it was too long is because of how they orchestrated it where they're having month gaps yeah. in between where benny's like i'm playing nobody in hut champs to get ready for this tournament because no one wants to play anymore or i'm having to scrim a guy i'm literally going to play in montreal because no one's playing anymore and mm -hmm. i think that's the biggest issue but i don't know like benny like what did you think like what i was asking about that like did you feel the same kind of feeling i guess but i know polgs is your boy and he plays with you but yeah 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 no i i definitely like i definitely wasn't as tuned up for the tournament and i felt the same way last year but uh deep down i think it's because i lost and i'm just like it hurts yeah. to watch as yeah. a competitor um I, I obviously like 
getting to see the matchups and everything was cool. And I, I did, like what uh, Brent talked about, like Eki and Regs kind of matching up for the first time was like a big thing. Um, I about the format thing. Um, I I I slept on your idea for the two club champs a weekend for 16 weeks and anyone can play in, in any of them no matter if you win one i feel like that wouldn't that keep comp season like alive for 16 weeks straight like yeah. you don't have to play every single one of them but it's a thousand dollar tournament yeah every I want weekend no part like, of club championships oh i i, I agree if, I, 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 I want them they gone do not but, work but, in but if they're they so like sold at having them no the like, clubs yeah. like it yeah. i don't like I, yeah. that needs to I be agree moved. yeah i agree they need, we they all need agree. to remove them the club, yeah. the, the club thing change. you were saying about the, the 16 person, the, having 16 people at the LAN event, here's the problem though, is that, and my one gripe is that you have someone like Deeks and I'm sorry, the guy that also came um, from, from, so those two guys placed top six on the planet and didn't get a single oh, second of airtime besides an yes. interview. That's a massive, you know, that's, that's a massive that's, issue that I agree. That's not fair. It needs to be, it needs to be, I mean, do they got the, they got a free trip over here, but yes, I agree that they're not a part of the stream, but that needs it's, to be uh, fixed. Um, but I was going to say for this specific one, if it's one event where they're doing like a massive one, this is like a two day or three day thing. And like they're streamed, like the whole thing is streamed. Everything. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I just think, I don't know. I, yeah, maybe. I, I, I just. Fitter like Deeks that he got to make the world final and even get a single game on the on the damn has there, screen. Has there been someone who's had? He had like a regs year. Like he won everything. He had a it good just year. He could he not. Every land. It just yeah. could not. And he won the he won the uh, the Leafs one too. And that was like the well, he didn't win it, but like that was like the hardest event to make. And you know what's funny is like nothing would surprise me if he like he would have won the whole thing this weekend mm -hmm. or something because of how the game For is. Sure. And, I, and like it's funny like when you're like okay well what's he gonna do next year to get better? I don't know because I don't think there's a whole lot where like all these top guys they don't do much different besides like you clinch your butt cheeks while you play and you hopefully you hit your shots when you can. There's not like this guy where it's like oh wow Benny he's doing this crazy thing that like no one else is. I mean there's really not a lot of that anymore. There's really not a lot of like you like, have a you gotta have a radar in that kind of thing. Yeah. You gotta have one of those weekends where just stuff goes your way because you're all, like, they're all that they're all in the same tier playing the same kind of game where they're exactly. all trying to find the same goals. Will it open up for you? Well, we'll, we'll have to see. Will the goalies be flopping like fish all over the place and making a diving save? Is the puck gonna hit the post when on a for sure goal? And that's it ended up being like Polix's weekend. Yeah, and I think for so long, like Regs, like was so, I don't want to say like obscure, but in the sense of like he did one he would, thing. He was like Mariano he would, Rivera. But he would just, and he was so committed yeah. to it, and no one else. And this isn't a knock like on the guys of do. Like, I think it's part of just like society and like patience level, right? No one wants to sit there and just circle and circle and cycle and cycle and. I mean, like, and he just never got like bored of it, and he would do it until you were like blue in the face and he would score and he was so good at it okay when i played him in my series unless he wanted unless he gave me the puck i wasn't getting the puck yeah right it's, it's and like, the only reason why it was even close in game one is because the game was tied for so long that i could play passive and like let him take his toa and then eventually i was like i just used freaking uh quick pick for the entire game but okay i need my quick pick to work because he would always try to find those back doors i'm like okay as long as i take that away from him and then eventually, I had like one breakdown, lose two one, and then in game two, he goes up two nothing early, and I was went, I just knew it was over. And as soon as I had to get opened up and trying to take the puck from him, I then I just got blown out. The, and which goes to show because I ne I'd never played him before. Yeah, it's and amazing. I was like, okay, now I get it. Yes, I was like, I see why he's the go because he's like the best puck possession player <laughs> on in the planet. So I don't know. Um, it was it was cool to be a part of it. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. he's getting spanked by him. You know, it was like, oh, what a great moment for me. The uh, <laughs> I think the the last thing um, about this in, in terms of going forward, um, if like if the NHL wants signups, right? Like if they like, I think the thing is here is that like the NH the, the World Championship does well for them, does well enough for them. Um, you know, the, they've but they've always moved the goalposts in terms of format and how the tournament works and all that. They need stability. But yep. moreover, I think that they're in a point where, like, sustaining is impressive. The fact that the tournament's still going on blows my mind because we've seen such a drastic reduction in esports overall. We're in the recession of esports. Like, we had the peak, like everything else in every other industry. We had the peak in COVID, and it will never be like that again. And we're in this massive downturn, not just in NHL, but, like, in any esports. So the fact that it's still running is kind of impressive. But secondly, 
if they want more signups and they want to see a significant increase in signups, if you sign up for the NHL World Championship, you get a free ultimate pack. Like, that's it. You put the QR code right on the banner. If Because the amount of people that sign up, they don't have a chance of winning yeah, because polls and all of this guys, right? easy. Yeah. Your barrier to entry, if they make it as easy as a QR code and type in your tag, and, like, not even your name, your tag, mm -hmm. and you get that thing in there. You've like, got to sign up and allow your email address. The problem like, is, if it's your EA ID, oh, yeah, right. It has email, to, though. But it has to. The EA ID and all that. Okay. Because like people like screw that up all the time oh, for yeah. whatever reason. They like they they look need to type your EA ID and it's that like made in like I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I, know. I hate the EA ID. It's Same. so it's so old. But yeah, like if they want Archaic. signups, they want to see a, a increase in signups. That's how they do it. Literally just an ultimate pack, not for playing. Yeah, just signing up. And you will you will get 10x yep. the signups. And if signups are the most important, that's an and easy. They did something like if okay if you did one ultimate pack for like for signing up, then you get like two ultimate packs for just playing your placements. Yeah, uh, that you don't even you don't even need to go that far. If you just get one think, free ultimate pack, because like no, an ultimate people, pack's twenty bucks. Actually, worth. play it too. Yeah, an, an ultimate pack's twenty bucks worth. You're basically giving your email up for you know like uh, whatever interest or whatever like. Uh, tracing whatever like you know info um and you get a free ultimate pack people i think people like you would see a massive increase in sounds but that would be an ea thing to have to put that in the game and i don't know if they would but um yeah all right that was uh so the gwc is done i gotta say uh i if the format is like what it is this year i don't know if i could ever do that again it was legitimately so much worse personally than i thought it would be uh travel wise i, said, I don't know if it's because I, I don't know if it's like it, you know yeah i don't know if it's because uh, i'm a dad now uh, but that was tough. And because I had the Caps event, too, like, in the one week off, yeah. was just... But, dude, I left the Rangers game after the first period. That's how I was, <laughs> I was done. Like, I couldn't I yeah. couldn't do Like, I literally was like, I'm going back to the hotel, and I need to just leave. Yeah. So, um, yeah, like, I think that the two big tournaments, as opposed, they're, they're doing five. Um, and if you would have told me a couple years ago they're doing five LAN events, like, that, that's pretty in insane. You know, like the fact that they're doing five mm -hmm. land events, but like, yeah, like so, I, I think that two longer, you know, maybe we'll just get leaderboards and there'll be a reason to play, you know, keep playing. Um, so, you know, there's that. Uh, anything else we want to talk about? This is like, oh, a, I took my son to my, to his first hockey game. And he played? So, no, no, no. I took him to like a Canucks versus the Canucks versus Vegas oh, game. That's oh, that's sick. Yeah. How was that? I mean, it was actually a really good game. So, like, he got to watch, like, a super close, tight game, and the Canucks won, so he was happy. Like, bought him a jersey before the game and all that. So, He's uh, nine? Yeah. Did he keep – did it hold his interest the whole time? Oh, yeah. No, he was, like – Really? I gave him a bag of popcorn at the beginning of the game. He's just sitting there, just absolutely lasered onto the game, just downing this big bag of popcorn by himself. <laughs> what age do you think they become able to do that? Because I have a couple of buddies, like my one buddy has a kid who's like six and like, like made Depends it like, on how, yeah. like how much they, under, if you get your kid into hockey really early, like kindergarten, I, like I went to my first game when I was in grade one and I understood what was happening, but okay. he's in grade three. And like for him, he could really understand. Like yeah. he could really, like, but like, even for him, like we, like, I haven't gone him into hockey. He's just had no interest in like skating and all that. So he's a like, more of a soccer kid, but he likes watching hockey and he's came, he's come to a couple of like oh, yeah. my games. So he, he's been, you know, for him, like at least he was, when Vegas went up to nothing early, I was like, please don't have his first game be the Canucks just getting blown oh, out. Yeah, I, that would have sucked. They, all of a sudden they're down 7-0 and it's like, I would be like, oh, well, buddy, you know, at least we're here to have a, have fun, right? <laughs> exactly. So, dude. so it's funny you say that. So Fisher, my son, he's like one and a half. I just got him his first shinny stick. And oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. And these are These are literally composite now. And they Brent, make them you know, composite? <laughs> Brent, you know this as kids. And Benny, this is probably like, oh, this is normal for you. I remember it happening. My brother is a 2000. Uh, sorry, we use birth years like in hockey. But we didn't have composite. We had the little plastic, little Milex. Yeah, dude, this is a little Milex. Uh, hold on, hold on. got a hook on it. This thing. That's nuts. We, uh, yep, I grew up right when the comps just came out. Like It was the new shit. Like, it was awesome. And yeah. like, and my son's like, like, I mean, dude, he's already hitting it around. Like we've been hitting it around now for probably like two months. And because he, ever since he started walking. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are the ones that I had. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go. Right here. Yeah. Uh, there's yeah. mine. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we had. Exactly. And we had the little nets and 
Dude, it, yeah. it's crazy the, the the advancement now, and like it's perfect for his size because he can like stand up and just shoot it like a like a normal stick. And I, I like Brent kind of said it's it's so it's so funny now because like I'm trying to get him into it as early as he can, and and like I'm not like pressuring anything really. Like I'm just kind of just put a stick in his hand, let him hit the ball around, and then they in the in the living room, and then we go to Blues games, and like you said, even at one and a half, dude, he is dialed in. I think it's just the the lights, the noise, the, the, the simulation. It's just like everything, you know, like. He like whenever, it. uh, like my son goes to bed around like seven thirty now, and like what I'll do if I'm up like there at like seven, I put him to bed at like like last like fifteen minutes. I'll have the hockey game on, and I don't know if it's the white ice or what, but he's just like mm-hmm. wide eyed, like this is the sickest thing mm-hmm. ever, trying to follow it along. He just stood up by uh, by himself, and that was oh, like, that's awesome. yeah, oh, that, nice. was dope. that was dope. That was dope. Came came downstairs, and he was in his like little pen, and I looked up, and I'm like, hey. What are you doing over there, buddy? He's like got both hands up. He's just like wiggling his butt. Like I was just like, anyways. David the moment they do it once, it's like they that's just all they're trying do it to do all over the place. I catch yeah. him trying to like yoga pose. Like he gets on his hands, but he can't get his body up unless he's holding on to something. But his legs are stiff, so he just keeps doing that yeah. all over the place. It, it it turns into a mess because then like now like my gaming chair. So after we're done with this podcast, what I'll do is I'll turn off my stuff. I'll have to lay my gaming chair on its back now because Fisher during the daytime will take it and push it all the way up against my gaming setup and he'll be standing on top of my desk. <laughs> and, he, and, he, and he grabs my controller and acts like he's like playing. Like I'm like, and my wife's like, this is just, we can't, he's just a madman. I like, I'm, I have my back turned for two seconds and he's on the, he's on the desk or he's on the counter. I'm like, it, it's like a blessing and a curse, but it's, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, but yeah, I'm so like, uh, real quick, by the way. So my birthday's coming up in a few weeks and my parents got me a, uh, one of those Blackstone grills. You oh, nice. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Everybody yeah. Else. I, I already had like a normal, like, this is complete dad talk, my bad, but it's like, I already had, I already had like a Weber, just a normal charcoal grill. And I've always like seen these like grills and I'm like, man, these things just look so like sick. Like they just, oh, yeah. you, can cook, you can cook pancakes, eggs, mm-hmm. uh, hibachi. It's like, it just seems so like, do you barbecue so a many... lot or now you will. Start? I mean, well, well and my wife, like, like Fisher eats two eggs a morning, like like scrambled and just pounds them. And my wife's like, you know what? Like since the weather's getting nice, I can just go outside, fire up the the grill, and just cook them there. And it's such an my easier wife cleanup. barbecues a lot. To be honest, it's such yeah. an easier mm. cleanup too. You know what I mean? All you just yeah. scrape it all. It's like when you go to the hibachi place. Like, mm. and I was like, so this gift, I was kind of like excited about it. But I didn't know if you guys ever like ha- if you guys had something like that or if you. Guys I have a Blackstone. Them. All right, I have a nice Weber. No, just regular one. I yeah, nice I'm a, I'm excited to try it though. But if anybody in the comments has one, give me a give me some good maybe some tips or some uh, videos like or some watch to uh some like recipes so I'm trying to find everything i can on it i become so i go back to the mini sticks talk though like i had these since i was nine years old oh my yeah son's age. i've like this I... is like oh gee i've had these this forever just made, like, a... that's nuts <laughs> like that that's funny but was there no worse feeling than taking a ball to the oh, nuts yeah. oh, oh the my god like, you just get play... absolutely just get leveled dude, by dude, it you play like five remember... minutes and your knees are toast yeah dude, carpet, we'd, be on, we'd be on road trips and kids mm-hmm. would go so hard they'd have like bloody knees yeah yeah i was like because the hotel carpet was like oh, yeah. the worst carpet ever it's like that carpet we had when we were in school when we were kids. oh yeah like that, that terrible just like cheap carpet that just rip up your knees and then i just remember kids just like I just remember always getting your knuckles beat up from like mm-hmm. the scratch mm-hmm. each other's hands. Oh yeah, <laughs> the chops. <laughs> but, all, but it's 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 really the only sport when you think about like youth sports that you can do that like at a hotel. Like you can't. It's not like you're gonna play soccer. It's not like you play football. You're not gonna play basketball. Like you're, like shinny hockey. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking like the basics. Memories. So yeah. Cool yeah shinny hockey was like literally the best thing when going out of town when you're a kid. Like that yeah. was in full best. contact. You're just level. Oh, oh, yeah. You're on your knees. Oh, you're on yeah. your knees, bro. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You stay in the same hotel as like another team. You start playing them like yeah. Yeah. City hockey. <laughs> um I was gonna say uh Stewie the so is that sick is that flex? I know that sounds crazy. Yeah, has, yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah my buddy was saying like the new oh, composites have flex now. I don't know how that works, but like, uh, like they didn't have flex when I used. And compasses. dude, they sell like crazy. So I've been, yeah, trying, I've, oh yeah. I've been going to like it's called Pure Hockey. I used to be Total Hockey in St. Louis, and we've been going there like every Thursday because my daughter has dance, and we're not allowed. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know, uh, Brent. Like, if you're like our kids, like our daughter has dance, and we're not allowed to watch them. We only get one week we can watch them, and then we get to watch the recital at the end because they don't want parents uh, like coming in and being mm. annoying. And, and kids it's gotta be extra. difficult to do like five girls to get them to do that. Yeah. It has to be. And so like, so like, we're like, all right, well, what do we do for an hour? So like, we go over to the hockey store, and like Fisher just runs around with a stick in his hand, and we've been looking for a freaking lefty composite for like a month, and I cannot get one. I finally got one tonight. I was pumped. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. That's pretty sweet. All right, yeah. fellas. Well, Sorry, boys, about the dad talk. It's just no. Uh, we did it at the end, not the beginning. 
<laughs> uh, all right, that'll do it for episode 97 of Team of this or of Coffee and Shell. I'm exhausted uh, of Coffee and Shell. And tomorrow we've got uh, Community Team of the Season. We'll be back next week to discuss more NHL and other things. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.